see you all today and welcome to our friends who are watching from home. Come on up, Lydia. So today is a special day in the church here. It is Pentecost. You can tell because things have changed in our church. You're going to see a lot of red today. So I thought it would be fun to do something a little different. And that is, I thought it'd be fun to check in with our world friends and see what they could teach us about Pentecost. That way, everyone in the congregation can meet our world friends. So let's sit back and let's watch. You'll find out. church's birthday, so I decided to get the church some smart-looking curtains. You know, spruce the place up. Oh my goodness, he did say that. So, he meant that it was first, second church's birthday? Uh, yeah, something like that. Well, I don't want to show up empty-handed. No, you do not. Not on the church's birthday. Buildings hold grudges like nobody's business. I got in a feud with my garage once, and I still don't go in there. But, where can I get a gift at this hour? On a Sunday. Relax, Clara. We'll just pop down to Megaware Hardware and pick up some bathroom tiles. Or a fresh can of paint. Oh, thank you, Otto. You're the best. You could get a rake, or you could get a hose, you could get a thermal electric water heater. I don't want to get the church just anything. I want it to be special. You could buy some door frames, or some carpet, or a set of titanium squirrel-resistant roof gutters. Hey, didn't Pastor Pete say there would be divided tongues of fire attending the party? I think he said those words, yes. I could get a fire extinguisher. You know, in case they get too rowdy. Good thinking. You can't trust fire tongues at parties. Where's the party taking place, Otto? I don't know. I figured we'd hear it. I expected something like a carnival mixed with a fair. Mixed with a mixer. Well, I don't hear anything. Hey, Victor, where's the birthday party for First Second Church being held? Birthday party? What in the world are you talking about? Because of Pentecost, Claire and I went to Megaware and got some small home improvement items for the church. Because it's the building's birthday. Um, the building wasn't founded today. It was built in April of 1913. As you can clearly see in the cornerstone right over there. Then, what was Pastor Pete talking about? He meant that Pentecost was the birth of the church itself. Right, the birth of the church we're standing outside of. No, 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 no. Not the church building. The church is a community of Christians around the world. Pentecost was the beginning of the church because it's the day the Holy Spirit came among the disciples. Are you with me? Oh, yeah, and that was right before the disciples went out into the world telling everyone the good news about Jesus. So the church didn't start with a building, it started with the Holy Spirit. So there's no birthday party. Not for the building. No. Oh. Oh. Lucky we saved our receipts. At the very least, we'll get store credit. Have you considered purchasing trick and trap supplies? They're having a special on some of my favorite items. So, leave it to our world friends, right? So the, it's Pentecost, and it's the birthday of the church, but not the building, but the people. As Victor said, it's the birthday of the community of Christians. What's a Christian? Anybody know what a Christian is? A Christian is someone who believes in Jesus Christ. So you're a follower, you do, right? You're a follower of Jesus. Now, if you remember from a couple of weeks ago, before Jesus, when Jesus was gathered with his disciples, and he knew it was time for him to go with his Father in heaven, he told the disciples, my Father will send you a helper. That's what we're learning about today. In our first lesson, we hear that the Holy Spirit came in the rush of the wind. This is the helper that God sent to us. You see, the Holy Spirit lives among us, and the Holy Spirit works through us. So today, Elizabeth is peeking over here. So today, I'm going to give you each a pinwheel. And every time you blow on the pinwheel, I want you to remember that God gave you the gift of the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit works through you. 
And I'm going to ask you to do something else at home. You have your summer fun card deck, right? Well, I'd like you to pull out. Tell me what color this is. Purple. purple. All right. I'd like you to pull out your purple cards. And as a family, read through them. These are acts of service you can do in your neighborhood. So I invite you as a family to pick a card and then let the Holy Spirit work through you and go into your neighborhood and share God's love. Okay? All right.